We are now going to use a special technique of using an invisible needle to introduce filler intradermally to do what is called a superficial blanching technique. So here the skin is stretched, the needle is inserted just under the skin and because it is an invisible needle and quite flexible it allows the needle tip to stay intradermally and then the blanching is done by firm pressure. The specific design of the hub stops the hub from popping off due to the high pressure and here you can see the blanching occurring on the tissue. Okay. This can proceed along a line to be superficially injected and make the line almost disappear. The needle stays quite superficial. The grey of the needle is visualised under the skin surface so the injection is truly intradermal. The needle glides into the tissue, into the intradermal space and then is withdrawn in a sliding movement out to cause minimal bleeding as the injection is performed. And there, the line is being effaced. See, the majority of the inferior part of the line is effaced, and that can be completed superiorly.